What if you could feed your pet wirelessly from anywhere in the world just by moving a slider on your phone? Welcome to the future of smart pet care with ESP32 and IoT Magic. In this exciting project, we will control a servo motor using a web server hosted directly on an ESP32 dev module. These open up endless possibilities like automating a pet feeder leap that opens on command. To bring this smart pet feeder to life, you will need one USB 32 dev board, one servo motor, jumper wires, one micro USB cable. Start by connecting the servo motor. Connect the signal pin of the servo to GPIO 13 of USB 32. Connect the VCC pin of the servo to 3.3 volt. Connect the GND pin to GND on ESP32. Double check the wiring according to the circuit diagram before proceeding. Now download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. These libraries are essential. Wi-Fi.h lets ESP32 connect to Wi-Fi. ESP32Servo.h is used to control servo motors. Replace your underscore SSID and your underscore password with your actual Wi-Fi network name and password. This creates a web server running on port 80, the default HTTP port. We create a servo object and set pin 13 as the control pin. The servo starts at a neutral angle of 90 degrees. Start serial monitor and try to connect to Wi-Fi. Keep checking until Wi-Fi is connected. Once connected, print the ESP32's IP address to access the web interface. Start the web server, attach the servo motor and move it to the default position. Wait for a client browser to connect. Read the incoming request from the browser. If the URL contains a servo angle, like you know the servo angle 120, extract it and move the server accordingly. Send HTTP header to the browser. This part sends the HTML page containing a title, a USB 32 servo control, a slider to control 0 to 180, JavaScript code to set new angle to USB 32 whenever slider moves, styling to make UI beautiful and centered, now every time the slider is moved, it updates the angle value on screen, sends a new request to USB32 to move the servo to that angle, and a nice footer and close the connection. That's it. Now we will upload the code to the USB32. Plug your USB32 into the computer using the USB cable. Select the correct board USB32 dev module. Then go to the tools and select port where your USB32 is connected as for example COM4. Make sure to replace the Wi-Fi name and password here. Now click the upload button the right facing arrow. Now if you see connecting dot dots, just hold down the boot button until it start uploading. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor and set the baud rate to 115200. You will see the message like connecting to Wi-Fi dot dot and then Wi-Fi connected and IP addresses will be displayed. Note down the IP address. Open your device browser and type the IP address in the address bar in any web browser on the same Wi-Fi network. You will see a beautiful slider based UI that says ESP32 Servo Control. Move the slider and watch your servo rotate in real time. This exact setup can be placed inside a pet feeder box. Mount the servo to swipe a flap and drop food. All control from your phone while you are work or on vacation probably. With just a few lines of code and USB 32, you have just built a very smart IoT pet feeder prototype. This project is a perfect example of IoT meets automation and it's only the beginning. If you like this project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting DIY tech with RoboArm.